FRC Media presents this Thursday night edition of Bayhawks Basketball as a visiting Community College of Rhode Island Knights travel up to the Taunton Center to take on the Bristol Community College Bayhawks from a sold-out Taunton campus. From a sold-out Taunton Center. We bring you Bayhawks basketball. How you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardoza. As we get set here for the tip-off, as the Bayhawks take on the reigning, defending Region 21 champions. Bayhawks in their traditional white home uniforms with the with the green trimming. And CCRI is in their black and yellow. As we get ready for a tip-off here, Aiden Rock will tip off for the Bayhawks. Bristol Community College, coached by third-year man Brian Fernandes. And the Knights, the CCR Knights, they are coached by Marcus Duthiet, former Providence College Friar and former Los Angeles Laker. Knights with the miss off the tip. And we are underway here. Oh, around the back. And losing it out of bounds. But they're going to say it's knocked away by, I believe, either Stanley Ure or Dion Hazard. Either way, it's off the Bayhawks. Again, I want to welcome, I want to welcome in our YouTube audience that are here on our live stream. Three-pointer is drilled by number 15, Barik Janat. Aiden Rock on the drive. Gets his shot altered. Driving, swooping to the basket. It's number 30, Jason Palmer. The night starting lineup is as fall. Number two, Nico Ward. Number 13, Elvin Mabenzi. Number 15, Barik Janad, who just scored. Jaden Delumba with the lay-in. Number 21, RJ Pina. And number 30, Jason Palmer. Jumper from the free throw line is no good. Rebounded by Stanley Ure. Stanley Ure, number five. Gets it underneath. Fading away is Di Carvalho. And he'll miss. Driving, nice drive to the basket by number 21, RJ Pina. Jaden DeLumber and Stanley Ure are in the backcourt for the Bayhawks. Nelson Di Carvalho driving to the basket, lays it in. They're going to need him to step up today. Seven to four here in the early going. We're not. We're barely two minutes into this first half. Pina kicks it out to Palmer. Bayhawks in a two-three zone. Kick to the corner, three-pointer. It's good. Second three-pointer by Barik Janat. And it's 10 to 4. Knights with the lead. Delumba to a cutting. Hazard. Nice pass there. And both teams buzzing like a bee. I haven't had a chance to catch my breath or blink my eye. Driving the kickback out. Pina for three, and it's good. And the Knights are three out of four from downtown. To start this one, DeLumba. Hazard trying to drive baseline, draws the foul. Foul's going to be on number 13, Elvin Mabenzi. This game has already started off fast and furious. Again, riding, uh, riding up the rest of the starting lineup for the Bayhawks. As I said, Nelson D. Carvalho, number 20, number 13, freshman Aiden Rock, and, and also uh, Dion Hazard, the sensational sophomore, drives to the basket, can't, can't get it to fall. It will stay Bayhawks basketball.
Hazard. Hazard drives to his left, kicks it back out to DeLumba. DeLumba for three. Tipped up. Loose ball. The, the Knights come away with it. They kick to the wing. Three-pointer by Pete is no good. Offensive rebound. Palmer gets the bounce. Jason Palmer, number 30. That's his second hoop. Bayhawks find themselves down nine. Ure off balance. Rebounded by Carvalho, and then he loses it out of bounds. And the Knights will regain possession. Okay, we have a timeout on the floor, so we'll take a quick timeout here on FRC Media, and we'll be right back. 15-6, to 6, Knights with the early lead. All right, after the timeout, Coach Brian Fernandes in his third season as the Bristol head coach took his team to the semifinals of Region 21 last year against this same CCR Knights team, not the same exact team, but Stanley Ure leading the break. DeLumba lost control of it, but get it out to somehow found Aiden Rock. Comes back away with it and lays it in. What a turn of events that was. 15 to 8. Both teams come into this contest at 7 and 10 in the conference. The Knights come in 10 and 12 overall. And the Bayhawks are 10 and 12 as well. Both teams need this game. This is a pivotal game as far as getting into a nice block by Aiden Rock. Loose ball on the floor. And Hazard ends up coming away with it. To Lumba, out of the pack. And loses the basketball. Both teams are going back and forth down each other's throats. Yeah, this is a pivotal game in Region 21. This is who the Bayhawks will be fighting it out with if they're going to get into the uh, regional, 20, regional 21 tournament. At the end of this month, early next month, driving is Pina, kicks it to the corner to Palmer, who knocks it down. And that's going to be a two, two-pointer. All alone is Kate is hated Kayton. And Kayton hits the short jumper. Had a clear pass to the basket. Not sure why he settled there. Three-pointer is no good. Yure driving around the back. Loose the basketball. And the Knights come away with it. And we're going to have a... The foul is going to be on Jaden DeLumba. Second team foul for Bristol. So far, this has been a barn burner. 17 to 10. Both teams looking to push. Bristol in zone. Flashing to the top. Three-pointer is no good. Knocked away by Aiden Rock. Then he loses it. And then somehow regains it again. So Bristol short-handed tonight, and they were, they were out there a big man, most sec. Mosek, who usually patrols the middle. He's injured. He's out. 
So who's going to step up for Bristol here tonight, especially in the interior? They get it to Rock in the post. Aiden Rock using his body. And they're going to call a foul. Foul is going to be on number 21. RJ Pina. They inbound to Stanley Ure. Ure crosses over. Goes up and draws a foul. And another foul on RJ Pina. His second. Stanley Ure will step up to the free throw line. Again, this is a big game for both teams here in the standings as we head into the, that final month of the season. Bristol has a lot of home games. I think six of their next seven or seven of the next eight games are here from the Taunton Center. The Taunton campus of Bristol Community College which, as many of you know, the main campus in Fall River. Second free throw is good. 17 to 12. Driving baseline, kick it to the corner. Nice swing. Palmer, that's going to be a backcourt violation. And good defense there by the Bayhawks. Three-pointer is short by Hayden Caton. Rebounded by Carvalho. Loose ball, and Ayure comes away with it. Hazard. Fade away. No good. And it's going to stay Bayhawks basketball. And they'll put, 20, they'll put 20 seconds on the shot clock. Three-pointer in the corner by Hayden Caton. Can't get it to fall. Three-pointer from the wing is no good. The miss by Sandro Silva. Bristol got to do a better job when they get the rebound looking up because they've had some open, they've had some open individuals down court. Got to keep your head up at all times. When you get the basketball in your hand, knocked away. Number 33 with the steal, getting into the passing lane. Robins Garcia. Yeah, that's a nice job of Robin Garcia. Sniffing out the pass, getting in the passing lane, and then laying it in. Hazard from deep. Dion Hazard for three, and both teams are scoring at an alarming rate, 19 of 15. Nice shot there by Dion. Both teams know how much this game really means. Garcia with the loose ball. And they're going to call a foul. And the foul is going to be on number 13, Aiden Rock. Aiden Rock, undersized, and I mean, in his front court, court role, going at about 6 1. And they're going to need him to step up in a major way today in the paint. As Bristol lacking some size, Robins Garcia misses the first free throw. Bayhawks, the men's team, the men's Bayhawks team, much like the women's team, with a short bench. As the Knights, Knights roll deep. They got 12, I mean, they got a full roster. They got 12 players on their team. And uh, oh, nice drive to the, nice cut to the basket. And let's see who they call the foul on. I believe they called that foul on Sandro Silva. And Dion Hazel will go to the line again. That's what Bristol needs to do. You get to attack. Can't settle for these outside shots. 
You want to see more ball movement, more ball movement around the perimeter, swing the basketball. They're going to do a better job of moving without the basketball. Just like you see the, the Knights doing. They're sw I mean, they're swinging the basketball. Everybody's, everybody's touching it. Keeps everybody engaged. And you can tire out the defense that way. You got to... Ball movement is one of my keys to the game for Bristol. Just like the Knights as they... As they swing the ball. Pina swings it to the corner. Three-pointer. It's an air ball. RJ Pina, number 21, will take a seat. Number 15, Barik Janat, will come in for the Knights. And that was a jump ball, possession arrow in favor of the Bayhawks. Aiden Rock, good job using his body. Like I said, undersized, but so much heart. The drive, the kick to Garcia for three. Off the rim, wrestled away by Hazard. Oh, Ure with a nice Euro step, lays it up and in. Stanley Ure. And it's 20 to 18. Knights really move that basketball. Three-pointer in the corner. It's sunk, and it's good. Barak Janat with his third three-pointer of the first half. He's been on fire. 23 to 18. Getting loud and proud here from Baton Center. Again, I'm David Cadoza on the call. Ure, jump step. And they're going to call a jump ball. And that's going to be. Stanley Ure. Lucky he didn't get called for a technical after slamming the ball to the ground. Referee calls a jump ball. That's going to be in the favor of the Knights. Possession, possession arrow in favor of the Knights. As we come up on the halfway mark here in the first half. A lot of excitement. A lot of energy in this building here on a, Thursday, on a Thursday night. We'll drive the kick out. Good defense by the Bayhawks. That, that zone is really getting to the basketball. Fadeaway jumper in the corner. Rebounded by Bristol. Rock, going to work. Nice spin move there. Can't connect. Palmer in the open floor. Lost control of it, and now here come the Bayhawks. Hazard, and Hazard, they call an offense to foul on Hazard. And Connor Warner, sacrificing his body, takes the charge, and both teams have four team fouls. Brist <laughs> Bristol trails by five. It's now 9.24 to go. Knights with the basketball. Both teams 7 and 10 in the conference. They swing it around, getting into the paint. And they're going to call travel. They call a travel on Connor Warner. That's a shame because he had a clear path to the lane right there. He got into the paint. 
Cross court pass from Ure. The quick release by Hayden Caton. Can't get it to fall. Palmer is an exceptional athlete. Three pointer from the wing. Coming off, rebounded by Nelson Di Carvalho. Aiden Rock gets it underneath to Stanley Ure. Di Carvalho was there. Oh, oh no way! I thought that would have been a. I thought that could have been a foul call right there. Number two, Nurko Ward. Blocked the shot from behind. Looked like there might have been contact. Bayhawks will inbound. Ure. And they're going to call a foul on the floor. On the drive. The foul is going to be on number two, Nurko Ward. Eight twenty to go. Regional 21 matchup between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and the defending Region 21 CCR Knights. If you're just joining us. Oh, nice dish and a lay-in. Nice dish there by Palmer. And the lay-in by Barik Janat. And Bristol giving up so much size, but they're hanging in this one. Hazard on the drive, goes to his spot. Elbow jumper, no good. Palmer with the rebound. Palmer to the basket. Too hard off the glass, rebounded by Ure. Ure in a flurry. Nice hustle from behind. As, uh, Ure trying to find Hazard, and actually, they're going to say that's off the Bayhawks. Timeout on the court, 25 to 18. The Knights have the lead. 7:26 to play here in the first half, and we'll take a break here on FRC Media. All right, shout out to Shay Shay if you're watching. 25 to 18. Corner jumper, short, way short, air ball. Ure. Di Carvalho loses it. Nice bounce pass, going to the basket is RJ Pina. And he draws a foul, foul's gonna be on Hayden Caton, I believe. Slap on the arm. Nice job in the open court. Tyler Lima with the bounce pass to R.J. Pina in transition. And Pina will step up to the free throw line. Again, Coach Marcus Duthit, former Los Angeles Laker. He's the new head coach of this Knights, CCRI Knights team. Second free throw was good. And he's doing a good job of going to his bench. Has it in the open court. Spin, reverse layup. Oh, on the cylinder. Couldn't get it to go. Driving. Pina puts it up with the left. Both teams are just pushing the basketball against the other one. My mind is in a tailspin right now. We went from 0 to 60 so quick. Well, we went from the women's game earlier as the CCR Knights, the women Knights, one of the top teams in Region 21, put on a show earlier today. But that was like a slow burn. This is like, this game right here is like watching a car wreck at 90 miles per hour. Three pointer by Palmer off the mark. Loose basketball, throwing it off his own player is Pina who throws it off Garcia. Not what he meant to do. As we come up on six minutes to play here in the first half. Defense! 
Hazard being guarded closely by Garcia. Nice switch there by the Knights. Bounce pass is stolen away. RJ kicks it to the corner. And he stepped on the line. I believe he stepped out of bounds. And the Knights will turn the ball over nonetheless. That's had to be what happened. I think he, when he caught the ball in the corner, he is, his foot was on the line. Applying some pressure in the backcourt. And it pays off. As Stanley Ure loses it out of bounds, he's trying to plead his case. Under six minutes to play. Been a very entertaining, energetic first half. Very intense. As we get down to the last little more than handful of games to play in the season. Both teams are both alive for a tournament spot. Jumper is no good. Oh, and the tip in, I think, by Palmer. And Hazard coming off the screen, and the foul will be committed by Rubens Garcia. Number 30. I'm sorry, number 33. And Dion Hazel will step up to the line. They're going to need him to get to the free throw line and, and hit these free throws. First part of a one and one no good. Coming up on five minutes to play in the quarter, in the half. Three-pointer from way deep is by Pina, no good. Ure looking up and finds Hayden Caton. Palmer in transition, kicks it back out. Garcia for three, no good. Pulling him back out, Garcia swings it. Pina goes to the basket against Aiden Rock and lays it up and in. Aiden Rock, I think he could have did a better job. Could have did a better job of defending that or challenging that shot. He just let Pina go right into him. Oh, backdoor cut. Yure's pass goes through Carvalho's hands. Had the right idea. <laughs> 31 to 20, the Knights with the basketball and the lead. Up 11. Palmer back into Pina. And again, again inside against Aiden Rock. DeLumba can't get it to fall. Thirty-three to twenty. Bristol needs to close this half with some positive results. Aiden Rock using his body. Good job of using his body and putting that ball off the glass, falling to the floor. Aiden Rock with the two. With the two. Bayhawks in that two-three zone. Three-pointer in the corner. Can't get it to fall. Loose ball, and RJ Pina 
gets the loose rebound and puts it back and in, puts it back up and in for the score. Yeah, the the Bayhawks defense, their 2-3 zone has been has been excellent. But oh, Janat kicks it in the corner. Three-pointer is short. Rebounded by Hazard. I was going to say kudos to the Knights for having patience against the zone of the Bayhawks. Knights playing man, Ure drives, and he'll go to the free throw line. I'm not sure who they call the foul on. A lot of traffic there. Ure steps up to the free throw line. Eight team fouls for the Knights. This was on the shot, though, so this will be two free throws. And Stanley Ure will sink that. Jaden DeLumba will check out. And Hayden Caton will check in. Second free throw is all net by Stanley Ure. Coming up on the two-minute mark. 36 to 23. RJ Pina kicks it back out. Three-pointer was no good by number, number 12. Ure's way off the mark. I'm sorry, number 13, Elvin Mabenzi. Jumper in the corner is no good. Ayure. Hands off to Hazard who lays it in. Well, that's the duo right there. If Bristol wants to have a chance in this one, those two are going to have to turn up. Offensive foul. Yeah, he dipped that shoulder in. He dipped that shoulder into Hazard. That's an offensive foul, and the Bayhawks have the basketball. Thirty-five, twenty-six. Bayhawks trail by nine. Trying to cut that lead to at least seven. Hazard off the screen. Hazard drives to his left. Kicks back up to Ure. Ure from the free throw line. Rebounded by Hayden Kagan. Hazard gets to the basket. Blows by Palmer, and nobody was there at the basket. And that's what I was talking about. That's what Bristol needed to do. They were on the verge of possibly getting blown out of this thing. Palmer pulls up from three. Can't get it to fall. Bayhawks down just by seven. Need a smart possession here. And there's a reach-in foul on Garcia. And Stanley Ure will have a chance to cut this lead even more. He can cut it to five. As the Bayhawks are now on the double bonus. And they'll be shooting two free throws with 26.6 seconds left. Only five team fouls for the Bayhawks, though. Again, that's been that's been a trouble piece for for Bristol from my eyes. They've been struggling from the free throw line. All right, second attempt by Ure. If you joined us earlier, the the Bristol women women's Bayhawks team was in action, and they fell to the they fell to the CCRI Knights women's team. In our earlier contest. And now the men's team trails by six. Palmer lost control of it. That gets it to the corner. Ooh, they're going to call a foul on Hazard.
All right, shot clock is turned off. Knights can hold for the final shot. Palmer working on Ure. Double team now and hits the shot. And the buzzer sounds. So at the buzzer, Palmer gets it to go. Jason Palmer with a great first half. So 37 to 29, a very competitive, very intense, very energetic, entertaining first half. All right, so we'll take a break here. It's halftime from the Taunton Center, 37 to 29. The Knights of CCRI have the lead. We'll be back with second half action in just a little bit. Well, halftime winding down as we get set, set for a second half action. It was a very energetic, very fast-paced first half. Both teams always looking to push the basketball down the other one's throat and, and fast break. Leading scores for Bristol, Dion Hazard and uh, Stanley Ure. And also, for the visiting Knights, R.J. Pina and Jason Palmer were stalwarts, and also Barik Janat from the outside. Those are your halftime half leaders, 37 to 29, and we're about to get underway. We're underway here. Jaden DeLumba try to get to Nelson DiCarvalho. And I believe that was knocked away. Yes, it was knocked away by Knights player. All right, I want to welcome in our live stream audience here on our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in all season long. Very appreciative. Underneath to Aiden Rock for the deuce. I talked to Aiden Rock's dad before the game. And I... I I let his father know how big of a game this was because both teams had the same conference record. Ure pulls up from the wing. Rebounded by the Knights in the corner. Garcia gets it to fall off the three-pointer. Yeah, Aiden's father said he would tell his son to step his game up tonight. Oh, what a block there. What a block there by Sandro Silva. And then going to the basket is R.J. Pina, who gets it, who gets it ripped away. And the, uh, the Knights will maintain possession as they underneath their own, un rebound from underneath their own basket. Three-pointer, loose ball underneath, rebound by Jason Palmer, and he'll step up to the line for two. FRC Media bringing you Bayhawks basketball all season long. And just like that, here we are in February. These are when the games get more intense as they jockey for position in the Region 21 Conference Tournament. Bayhawks hope to be part of that as Jason Palmer hits both free throws. But like I said, this is a big game here today. Yure, one of the call, doesn't get it. Shanat lays it up and in. 44 to 31. Aiden Rock catches the ball at the free throw line. And then it gets his shot swatted away. DeLumba, the fall away is no good. Palmer, around the, around the back, loses it, somehow regains it. And now Aiden Rock with the basketball. DeLumba. DeLumba with the miss, and then they say it's out of bounds on Bristol. So Bristol... They have hung around in these games for the first half. And it seems like in the second half, they just lose it. 
as they were trailing by nine at the at the um, at the end of the first half at halftime, and now they trail 44 to 31 as the um, as the Knights start to assert themselves here in the early going here in the second half. Coach Brian Fernandes rallies the troops. We'll keep it here on the floor. 18.08 to play. Again, you get a love. You get a love Bristol's effort. The jumper by Pina drains it from the top of the key. RJ Pina. And now the Knights are up 15. DeLumba dribble drives to his left. That ball knocked away. That ball's all over the place. Aiden Rock turns the ball over. And now Janat can't get it to fall. Palmer is there to clean up the mess. And just like that, the, Net, the Knights are up 17. Aiden Rock, off balance. Can't get the off balance shot to go. Palmer looks up to Garcia. Garcia with a strong take to the basket. And Stanley Ure. I believe Stanley Ure was the one to commit the foul. And now Rubens Garcia will step up to the line for two. Rubens Garcia, he's done a good job off the bench. He already has a three-pointer in this half. He's been like a little microwave. Both free throws missed. He's been like a little microwave off the bench, heating up. He's done a good job with that second unit. For the Knights. Hazard comes, catches the ball, gets to the gets it to the paint, and uh, draws the foul. And I believe they call the foul on Rubens Garcia. Second, no, first team foul for the Knights. First free throw by Hazard is good. Just under 17 to play. A lot of time left in this one, but Bristol coming out the gate kind of slow here in the second half as they trail by 16. Dion has to try to make it 15. He does. I would like to see Bristol apply more pressure. As they have a smaller lineup, I'd like to see more traps, more pressure, more full court pressure. Turnaround jumper from the elbow area is number 13, Elvin Mabenzi. And the Knights are back up 17. Aiden Rock on the drive, puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Then he gets his own rebound, and he gets blocked by Mabenzi. They swing it into the corner. Drive and kick off the baseline. Good ball movement there. Jumper in the corner. No good. Rebounded. Nice strong rebound by, by Mabenzi. Kicks it back out. Drive it to the basket as Palmer. And I'll tell you what, Jason Palmer, he's a, he's a heck of an athlete. DeLumba into the paint. And now, now the Knights starting to separate themselves. Look at that ball movement. Palmer for three, and he is standing out, showing up, and showing out. Timeout on the floor. Jason Palmer with the three, and Coach Fernandes calls a timeout. We'll call a timeout here, here on FRC Media. 
your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. 15-33 to play. 55-33. to It was a 37-28 to lead at the half. A nine-point lead by the Knights, who now have a 22-point advantage as they stormed out to this big lead. I mean, they're just play, they're playing really good man-to-man -man defense. Hated Kayton, and that's a much-needed trifecta by the freshman from Swansea, Massachusetts. And they're going to call a reach-in, I believe, on Jaden Delumba. He doesn't like it. Third team foul by the Bayhawks. They better be careful before they're in the penalty. Underneath, second effort, no good. Rebounded by Stanley Ure. Ure, nice crossover. Leans in, can't lay it in. Palmer pulls up. The jumper way is way too strong. Delumba kicks it to Hayden Kayton. He's feeling it. Can't get it to fall. I think I got too ahead of myself here. Three-pointer from the top. No good. Rebound by Palmer. Nice dish underneath. Nice dish and finds Barack Janat in the paint. Jason Palmer does it all. Cross-court pass. DeLumbo wide open for three. Short rims it. Janat, line drive. Line drive outside shot. Short. And DeLumba. DeLumba misses on the drive. The men's Knights team, much like the women's Knights team, they have a lot of they have a lot of players who can handle the basketball and a lot of players that can score the basketball. A lot of, they got a few guys that can Works some magic with the ball in their hands, and they got, they got some shooters. And they do a good job scoring on the inside, too. And they got the height advantage, the size advantage over the Bayhawks. The miss. That ball being batted up in the air, and finally the Bayhawks come away with it. They've been getting killed on the boards. Aiden Rock loses it, somehow gets it to. Okay, then. Rebounded by number two, Nurko. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Nice around the back pass, but went a little bit behind Janat. And we have substitution. So Braylon Johnson. Seeing his first action of today. It's like, where did he come from? If he was in the game earlier, I did not notice him. But he, this is his first action. Garcia will inbound for the Knights. And Braylon Johnson ends up with the ball in his hands with a steal. Pulls up right off the bench. No good. Rebounded by Aiden Rock. Rock trying to pound his way in, but loses the basketball. Good, good team defense by the Knights. They look to swing it. They do in the corner. Three-pointer coming off. Rebounded by Garcia. Palmer knocks it down. I'm sorry, RJ Pina knocks it down. And he's been a standout, too, for CCRI, and it's 60-36. to 36. In the blink of an eye. And now Bristol getting careless with the basketball. Hazards drive way off. Pina storms it to the lane and lays it in. RJ Pina gets it to the paint and imposes his will. And that's what the Knights are doing right now. They're imposing their will right now. 
on the Bayhawks. Hayden Kagan drives, lays it in, count the basket as he draws a foul. Nice strong move there. <laughs> nice strong move by Hayden Caton. Bristol just lacking, just lacking some size. And um, the, the Knights have done a good job matching up man to man. They got the matchups on the offensive and defensive end. Garcia, that rainbow three, that, that rainbow shot that he loves. Misses. Hazard. Foul's gonna be on the floor. And they'll call the foul on number 24, Connor Warner. But called on the floor though, so no, no free throws. Not in the act of shooting. Johnson gets it to Kayton. It's the Hayden Kayton show. Garcia. Now Pina. They double team. Good defense there. Hazard. Hazard crosses over, gets it inside to Aiden Rock. Uses his body and lays it in. If it's not Hayden, it's Aiden. Count it. And Bristol tries to desperately claw themselves back into this one. And let's see if they can get another three-point play. And they do. So down 18 now. Driving to the basket, strong take, and the make. Nurko Ward. And I said, like, this men's Knights team, just like the women's team, I mean, their role players have really showed up and have played well. Free throw was missed, rebounded by Aiden Rock. Hazard being guarded closely by Garcia. Rock comes up to set the screen. Trying to do a pick and roll, they cut it in the corner, Hayden Kayton, oh boy. Loose ball, Garcia comes away with the rebound. Oh, they're gonna call Rock for a, oh, I don't like that call. Yeah, they call Aiden Rock for the reach in. Warner spins and foul's going to be on Braylon Johnson. Ten nineteen to play here in the second half. And the Bayhawks are in the penalty now, so the Knights will be shooting free throws from here on out. This foul was in the act of shooting, so he'll be shooting two. First free throw is no good. Second free throw is good. 28 points scored in the second half so far by the Knights. Ure sets the screen, Hazard coming off. Hazard to the basket, lays it in. Need more of that. 10 minutes to play in the second half. Pina, round the back and it drains it. Pina steps up to the, steps up to the three point line, puts it around his back, steps back and drains a three. God, that was textbook. Braylon Johnson, short on the side of the rim, no good. Peener again. Loose ball, underneath the basket. 
And it's going to go off. Going to go off Johnson. And timeout on the floor. We need a timeout here on FRC Media. 9.25 to go, 68 to 46. The Knights have the lead over your Bayhawks. We'll be right back. Back on the floor, 9.25 to go. So the lead was 37 to 28. Just a single digit lead at halftime. So the, um, the Knights are outscoring the Bayhawks 31 to, 31 to 18. But they've really pulled away. R.J. Peter and Jason Palmer. There's Peter coming to his left strong. Goes to his left and puts it to the right. That boy, that boy is cold. He's cold. He's cold. He got, he's got no conscience. R.J. Peter, he wants more. He wants more. And they're going to call him with a push off. They're going to call him for. They're going to call him with a push offensive. RJ Pina is by any means necessary. <laughs> 70 to 46. How are you spending your Thursday nights? 904 to play here in the the game. Okay, we got more timeouts in this game than the man on the moon. 70 to 46, 904 to play. We'll keep it here, but we'll take a little break. Well, yours truly is going to take a little break. I feel like I've been talking too much. All right, that was a short break. 9.04 to go, 70-46 70, 70 from the Taunton Center here in Taunton, Massachusetts. And these two teams over the years historically have been rivals. You're talking about the campuses being 20, 25 minutes from each other. You have your pick to go to college. You have your pick to go to school. And if you live in the Bristol County area, or if you live in South Coast Massachusetts, Southeastern Massachusetts, or Rhode Island, these are two of the better schools to go to. These are two of the more prominent community colleges to go to. Good education, good athletics, nice campuses. And they definitely have had some uh, historic games, especially on the men's side. Baylon Johnson catches it in the paint, goes up and he got the big man off his feet, off his feet. The big man being Elvin Babenzi. And Braylon Johnson steps to the line. Gets the friendly, friendly roll. We're just under under eight and a half minutes to play. Both teams are in the penalty. Both teams with 17 fouls. 70 to 46, Knights with the advantage. And Braylon Johnson does something the Bayhawks. I feel like they really do. Hit both free throws. Garcia. Okay, and Garcia's going to be called for the offensive. He used that arm. Kind of push off. <laughs> You can't do that. Can't do that in the NBA. Can't do that in college hoops, high school, youth. 8.18 to play. And we have a foul 
And both teams are in the penalty now, so you can expect this game to go to midnight. 70 to, <laughs> 70 to 48. And that's 19 fouls. <laughs> I'm glad I can entertain the gentleman over here. It, 70 to 48, the score. Front end of a one and one is missed. Warner doing a lot of shake, not enough bake. Mabenzi in the paint, over eight in rock, gets the friendly bounce. Mabenzi. Elvin Mabenzi. Oh, Hayden. Oh, nice cut to the basket. Aiden Rock. Hayden to Aiden. How about that connection? How about a great job by Aiden Rock recognizing that Hayden Kayton's giving him some size, needed to get rid of it, and he drives the paint and gets a three-point play. Two bright spots for the, for the Bayhawks have been Hayden Caton and Aiden Rock, and they're both good young players. Hayden Caton, who hails from Swansea, Massachusetts, went to Case High School. Went to Case High School. He's a freshman in Aiden Rock. I mean, these are two Bristol players that the Bayhawks can, that Bristol can build with as solid contributors. I mean, next year, next year, next year those two will definitely be solid contributors and definitely be leaders on this team. I can see Aiden Rock being a captain next year. And Hayden Caton, he's done very well in his role. His minutes have stepped up, and he's stepped his game up as he gets more burn. As Bristol's without most sec. I mean, they're missing some guys, right? So Hayden Caton is taking definite, definite advantage of his opportunity, and it's good to see. And again, Aiden Rock, that was such a heads-up play Cut into the basket, cut into the lane. Drawing the contact and getting that ball to go up and in. He's done well. Nice crossover to kick it to the corner. Three-pointer. No good. And now Warner. He misses third offensive rebound. And number four, he gets the ball to bounce it in. Tyler Lemer gets on the board for the Knights. The defense there by the Knights. All right, Hayden, let's see what he can do, son. Hayden Kayton, how about that boy? Go get it, young fella. Timeout on the court, 6.58 to go. 74-53, and we'll be right back after this timeout here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. All right, we're back from our timeout, timeout on the court, and and now this is see this is where and Coach Brian Fernandez has done this before, where it, you're going full court pressure now when you're down 20. Mabenzi. Finds a cutting. Who is that? Is that Lima? No, Sandro Silva. On the cut in the basket. Hayden Caton, ooh. Hayden Caton stood with that. Got it into the corner to Jalumba, who misses. N numbers game. Two on one. The pass from Janat to Silva. And it's 78 to 53, and... The Knights pull away again. Oh, Aiden Rock. Got to go up with that. Hayden. Oh, throws it off the glass. I mean, 
those guys are playing with so much heart. They're giving up away so much size. It's not even just the size, the height itself, the length. Mabenzi, the three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Silva. The Knights could sit on it. I mean, going to the basket, Warner gets it knocked away, and it'll be off the Bayhawks. Five thirty four to play. In this one. Both teams in the bonus. But it's a twenty five point lead for the Knights. Who really have in this second half, they've really put the boots to the Bayhawks. Janat lays it in off the inbound pass. Nice inbound pass there. We don't need any more fouls. Well, tell, that to, tell that to the refs. 27-point. <laughs> uh, yeah, let them. Yeah, yeah. Dion Hazard will step up to the free throw line. And Hazard makes the first one. Stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball as the men will be in action this Saturday at 2 p.m. Sad news, though, yours truly will not be on the call. Duty calls for your United States military, Air Force, Three pointer by Babenzi. Wicked hot off the glass. Connor Warner, short jumper, no good. Follows his shot, lays it up and in. Again, both teams. Came into today's contest with the same record. I was talking to Coach Marcus. Two seat earlier before the game, and he said, "You know, our record is the same as theirs. We're seven and ten, and this is the game we need." Talking to our AD, our Bristol Community College, Jason Tazanari said, "This is a this is a crucial game for us, and Bristol falling short here today." They're going to make the road a lot tougher if they're going to get into the uh, Region 21 tournament. And you got to appreciate the hustle. That's number four, Tyler Lima. I mean, they're still going after it. Even though this one is pretty much, in, I mean, this game is in the bag for the Knights. The Knights all day, all night, I should say, whatever. They, uh, they've they done a good job of following their own shots, following their own misses, and the Bayhawks just have not blocked out, boxed out. Second free throw was good. Largest lead of the game for the Knights, 83 to 55 is a 28 point lead. Kagan, giving up so much size, go to the basket. Coming away with his Car Carvalho. Carvalho kicks it out. Kagan, nice fake. Can't get it to fall, though. Boy, that kid hustles. I don't think it's any secret on who the, the Dozy Award for that Bayhawk, except for flying that Bayhawk's grit. That hustle. 
that energy and intensity and the combination. With a combination of showing up and showing out, going to the basket is Hazard. Misses the lay-in. But Hayden Caton, he's just, he doesn't quit. When he makes four up, when he makes up. Connor Warner will score underneath. And Hayden Caton, what I was going to say is what he lacks in physical size, physical height, he makes a foreign heart. And the Knights enjoy their largest lead of the game. 85 to 50, 85 to 55. It's a 30-point lead with 325 to go here in the game. Broadcasting live from, our, from the, uh, the Taunton Center. Cold night out there. It's going to be a cold weekend. Stay cozy by the fire this weekend. Enjoy your favorite beverage. Cook some good comfort food. Stay under the covers. Hayden from deep. Can't get it to fall. Oh, man. <laughs> Hayden for Caton for three. Can't get it to fall. They do such a great job of tiring you out with their ball movement. And Lima drains it from the elbow. Do they count it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on, but we have a timeout on the court. Three minutes exactly to go. 32 point lead. Yeah. Yeah, we're ready to get out of here. Want to talk about Tom Brady? Tom Brady retiring. The greatest quarterback. The greatest football player of all time. Unbelievable career. You talk about Tom Brady, talk about Tom Brady is American history. 87 to 55. Nelson DiCarvalho on the drive and they'll call a foul and we'll have more foul shots. First free throw is a miss. Second free throw is good. Nelson D. Cavallo, the sophomore, who started off hitting a couple baskets early in the first half, early in the game, and he has gone absent, I feel like, ever since then. And just look how that ball continues to – guys are cutting to the basket. Three-pointer is good. Sandro Silva. Everybody getting in on the action for CCRI. They lob it in. Aiden Rock, good job using his body. Nice post move there by Aiden Rock. Kisses it off the glass as we approach the two-minute mark. Silva can't knock it down. Rebounded by, by Braylon Johnson. Kayton drives to his left. 
Can't get it to fall. Can't get it to fall. Fall. Nice drive in the dish to, to Warner. And even with a 32-point lead, both teams on the floor going after the basketball. The Knights still attacking the basket. Still being aggressive. With a minute 22 to left and up by 32. The fake, the drive. As I was saying before about Tom Brady, I feel like Tom Brady is American history. We, much like Kobe Bryant, we've watched him grow up in front of our eyes. His first year as the starting quarterback was the year that we had 9-11. We've been through, like, how many presidents? Four presidents since he's been playing quarterback for the, for the Patriots and for Tampa Bay. We've seen him get married. We've seen him have kids. We've seen him get divorced. We've seen him. How many times we've seen him in the Super Bowl? It's been like the Tom Brady Bowl. Each and every year he comes to you in your TV set. Every February. As the whole world watches. Three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Aiden Rock. Rock strong to the hole. Can't get it to fall. And it's off the Bayhawks. It'll be Knights basketball as we, as we wind this down. I think the Bayhawks are going to tap out on this one. But again, under man and not having their not having their big man tonight. That didn't help. Not having Mo Sec, the freshman starting center, the freshman big man, who's been improving his game. You've seen a lot of improvement here in the second half of the season. But you get to appreciate the effort that both teams, both Bayhawks teams, the men and the women. With a lot of effort, despite being under man. Okay, the final score from the Taunton Center, 90-60. to 60, The CCR Knights come in and get a much-needed victory in this pivotal matchup. So for David Cardoza, you have been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. Stay tuned. This Saturday at 2 p.m., the men will be in action. I'll be out of action, but you'll be hearing from me, and you'll be watching more Bayhawks basketball in the coming weeks. The final score, 90-60. to 60. Have a good night, everybody, from Taunton.